Marketing. All right, you're gonna get the wheel in it. Another classic film review through the, 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 the wheel of my car. So, I just went to go see one of my all-time favorite childhood movies. I originally saw this film at home when I was seven. I did not go to theaters to see this movie, but I watched it a shitload because I had the DVD. Eventually, I got the Blu-ray. I think I have the Blu-ray definitely. I had two copies of the Blu-ray one because I won one in a machine and I bought one for $5 and I gave the one I won in like this arcade game machine thing uh, to a friend way back then. I remember that. And, but I grew up with Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, you know? This film is, is fucking legendary in every single capacity. It is funny, it is sweet, it is charming, colorful, stylistic. It adapted a very simple based novel into a grandiose film and yet honored that novel. Which is something like a lot of things that Phil Lord and Chris Miller have done. Almost everything they've done has been like, oh, that's just not gonna work. The fuck, Cloudy Chance on Meatballs? And then they nail it every fucking time. It, it, it's that good. It's like when you watch, um, what is it? Um, like 21, 22 Jump Street. It's like you're adapting this 80s show into a modern day cop comedy and they fucking nailed it. You're making Legos their own movie. That's just gonna be a giant product placement. And while it is a giant product placement, it's self-aware and so goddamn funny about that. It also has a lot of heart and a lot of style and they've done it with every single thing that they have made. And I, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, man, they just make the best shit. I like the Lego movie more personally than this movie. That's not to say this isn't great. I just find the Lego movie to be equally as filled with heart and style, but way funnier. So I think there's just a, a top there a little bit. This movie is pretty dang funny, but really creative and stylistic and just a great overall kids movie. I just don't see, I don't see anyone disliking this movie. Like if you ever check this film out, I think you'll, you'll love it. Like that's how good it is. Um, the main character of Flint Lockwood is so likable. He's definitely my top 20 favorite characters of all time. He's just a fucking goofball, and I, but he, he's, he has a lot of heart, and he truly has inspiration there. And he has a, a sad backstory, even if the, the backstory is done humorously. It, it is sad, you know, bullying and shit. Um, which kind of correlates to the character of Sam, who he's with throughout the movie, who had the same kind of childhood, being smart, kind of, you know, got that person bullied, and, you know, more stuff beyond that. But it's a beautiful film. It's a really nice looking film. Animation holds up to date stunningly. I think the sequel without Phil Lord and Chris Miller at the helm, or I don't even think they wrote it. Maybe they did, but they definitely, I think, produced it. But they didn't have a lot to do in that film. And the second one comes off as more food punny, simplistic story. There's a few chuckles here and there. But if you want the true uh, heartwarming, beautiful, creative, hilarious story, uh, more so you're gonna get that from this Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Uh, I will leave it very simply with an eight and a half out of 10. If you've never seen this movie, check it out. If you're a fan of animation, definitely check it out. And if you got kids out there who haven't seen it, fucking check it out. I was so glad that a theater near me was playing this one. A lot of theaters, like brands like Cinemark, Studio Movie Grill, Movie Tavern, Look Dine in Cinemas, and Studio, um, AMCs, uh, they do like these $5 kids movies to $1 kids movies sometimes. But usually the lineup is pretty, is like all Illumination, or and then the one or two select Disney or DreamWorks films you've heard of. Which I saw Kung Fu Panda, and that's a great film too. But I would almost say I like this even, like quite more than the Kung Fu Panda movies. I think this film is that fucking goaded. So if you've not seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, do yourself a favor and see it. Make sure you do it with food. I went to a dining theater, so you know, didn't have to worry about being hungry. Because if you see this film, you're gonna be like, fuck, I want a burger. Or I can fuck up some ice cream right now. Um, but yeah, I'd give this uh, an eight and a half out of 10, maybe even a nine, uh, it, it's that great. I don't think everything about it's perfect. I don't think it's like super funny and I do think it, it's a very simplistic story, but it's just filled with heart and it's an hour and a half that you'll be happy that you sat through. You're not gonna beg for your time back. So do check out Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs at home. Uh, I don't think it's playing at theaters anymore. And that is all for my uh, look back on this classic film that would now be 13 years old. So yeah, check it out.